body rigging. We're so close to being done. So first I'm going to organize the arms by grouping them together. Select all of the right arm. Select this tool. It just lets you create a rotation deformer wherever you want. Rename it to arm right. And I did notice some scuff um, of my arm poking out. So I'm just going to tuck it in. Um, no one will know. Then for the left arm, I can't do a rotation anymore because it is connected to the hand on the torso. So I'm going to make a warp deformer. Make sure to include the hand as well. Then also select all the torso, including the accessories and the crouch. I forgot here. I'm going to add it later on. Make a deformer called torso XY. Drag all your arms with a rotation deformer into the torso. I only have one. Then on torso XY, add three keyforms on body X and Y. Deform the torso turns. And if your model has breasts, of course, give that an XY deformer and make it look 3D. Then for better visualization, I rig the displacement of the entire model, so make a rotation deformer on top of breathe. I just call it XY. I like to control drag it to the chest area. Add the keyforms and just move the entire model. Don't ever forget to synthesize corners, and I'm back to the torso XY rigging. For the left arm, just directly attach body X and Y onto the deformer, and deform like so. For more advanced arm rigging, I think some people would glue the joints together, but sadly, I, I hate gluing. Same thing for the right arm, I can attach three parameters to body X on the rotation deformer and adjust the angles. And here I would like an effect where the arm goes behind the body. To do that, I'll first select all of the arm right layers. Actually, I'll make a folder for it first. I'm not super organized. And copy and paste the folder. Name the new folder arm right back and then drag it below lower body. Then select all three layers of the upper arm, add three keyforms on body X. At the rightmost one, go in draw order and minus one. So the draw order just controls the layering, and there you go. And if I didn't have my hair at the back, I probably didn't even have to copy the layer. And this is where I drag my crouch into my torso XY. This is similar to when I forgot to center my bangs XY, so I just copy the deformer. Delete everything, expand it, drag it back, and then modeling, deformer, apply deformer to child elements. Next, for the legs, I have symmetrical legs, so I can just rig one side and duplicate it to the other side. But I'm first making leg left, XY, and I want to give him steppies when he steps to the left, so his legs are going to be reaching outwards and honestly each model's legs are so different that I kind of have to trial and error on each model to see what works and what doesn't. Poo Poo took me a few tries. Actually I'll just show you the results because there's a lot of back and forth. So I duplicate the deformer, reflect it on the other side, check body X, change the name to leg right XY, Drag the deformer into your right leg folder and drag all the right leg layers inside of the deformer. Then he didn't look great. The legs reaching forward only worked in one direction and the squatting, the knees bending inwards while squatting doesn't work very well for masculine legs. And so just continue to fix things until it looks good. And for the leg strap, I just directly deform on the layer itself. 
to something like this. And give the cape an XY deformer and give that some perspective too. And this is my result for now. And for the next few parameters, I'm just going to show you the result. And I trust that you understand the process by now. So my body Z is a new deformer on top of breathing. And if you notice, the left right of the body Z is inversed. Because I think he looks cooler inversed. But if you want, if you want to reflect things anytime, just right click on the parameter and click reflect. Yeah, and it's still cute. I just think the other one has more swag. And of course, you can reflect body X, Y too um, to, to see how it looks on your model. And next, the hip parameter is just a blend shape. And I was lazy, so I just attached it onto the Z deformer. And it is the physics settings, so this is my setting parameters, if you ever want to copy that. And to complete the rest of the body rigging with physics, add another set of physics for a body. And similar to the short hair rigging, add more sets if you need different speeds, but I just want to get this done with. But for the right arm, I created rotation deformers for each segment of the arm. And remember we have two layers of each because one is for the, the layering effect. So make sure that they're in the right spot. So we select all three physics rotations, go to modeling, skinning, generate parameters for rotation deformer. 40 is fine for me. And just go to physics and set it up like a longer hair strand. And these are my final numbers. And for this chain, I'm supposed to separate them so that I can rig the string part with skinning and the other part with physics blend shapes. So this is a trick I do to separate things in Live 2D. I first make a copy of the layer, manual mesh edit, and erase the part that I don't need, and then go into the other one and erase the other part. And I call this separated. And I think you get the hang for the physics rigging from my hair tutorial. So let's skip ahead to the steppies. Make a new blend shape called leg up left. For now, minimum and maximum, I'm going to do 0 and 1. But I'll show you later with negative 1 and positive 1 what that effect is. So I'm just rigging leg up left on my leg left XY since it's a blend shape. And something like this is fine. And with physics, this is the effect. I skipped the part where I struggle with physics settings, but you can copy the final result if you like. But as you can tell, his leg is only going up when he goes to the left. And for it to go up both ways, just right click on leg up left, edit the minimum to be negative 1. Add the keyform, and just shift copy your deformer at 1 to negative 1. And there you go, he's raising his legs both ways. I personally like this one better. And you can definitely do this on the other leg too. The Life 2D is really flexible and each character has their own body movements. So it's up to you to figure out which one works the best for you. And next is ear rigging. Expressive ear rigging. 